Uh, just one more quick update about the uh, towel bars and the towel ring. Remember I told you they were going to need um, Allen wrench and it would probably it would probably be one of these really tiny ones but sometimes you might get lucky. I, I happen to look up underneath there. I don't know if you can see that or not uh, but it's a slot just for a small tiny screwdriver and of course yes I do have a, a small screwdriver and I'll be able to undo those. Now when you install these when you get ready uh, to put them back on you always want the little set screw on the bottom. I it cracked me up one time I seen them and the screws were up on the top. Well that's because they had it flip-flopped around. This one should go over there, this one should go over here. And I'm looking I'm looking at this towel bar and there's a seam right here. This one here there's no seam. You know why? Because the seam's supposed to be on the back side. So when I put this back up, I'm gonna flip this around so that that seam is facing on the back side. Okay. All right, that's all I wanted to, to show you. I guess I don't need my, my Allen wrench set after all. Okay, I'll, I'll show you this one. Um, and my guess is, I, I just dropped my knee pad down on the floor. My guess is, um, when, after I undo this, it probably isn't going to come off until I kind of gently tap it. And see, these, these screws, you don't have to take all the way out. Don't take them all the way out. If you do, you drop that, and then you've got to look for it. And sometimes, uh, it just depends how far uh, you need to undo it because all this screw is doing is going up underneath a little nib that then you tighten you tighten up and then it tightens this up. So you want to get that beyond where the nib is, and so I've got to I've got to undo it a certain extent. I probably have to go this one a little bit more, and then I'm just gonna kind of lift on that there. Okay, there. That's that's all. And see, when you put it back, it goes from the top down. You make sure you've got it hooked properly. And, and then you tighten up that screw and it fits underneath the edge. Now see, these clips, I can go ahead and leave. Um, I think I'm just going to leave the clips. You know what I mean? I, I, could, I could take them off. I could take them off. It, but... But, but the last person who did it, they painted over this and uh, they left these on. Now, I, I'm, I'm thinking that's, that's okay to do. Okay, if, you're, if your wall is really a uh, smooth wall, no texture on it or something, you really don't want to uh, touch this up with the paintbrush later. So with that in mind, you know, I could, I could take those off. And that's why I brought a drill with me. And I'm gonna I'm gonna get it. Let's just see if I can't get these off. I brought a drill in case I needed it, but I'm glad I did to do this. The handrail's going down the stairs. And yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this or not. You know? I think I think I might be better off because it's been painted over and I don't think I'm going to be able to get that. It's been painted over a couple times, probably who knows how many times. And then the thing is, if you're not careful and if you get these screws out, you try to whack this off or take a putty knife on there, you could uh, pull the, the paper of the drywall back and now, oh man, what did I do that for? Now I've got a patch the drywall and the spray texture because I try to pull those off and uh, there's so much paint on here this this bathroom's probably been painted four or five times maybe over the last 50 years 40 years and so I think I'm gonna choose to leave them all right so uh, I'm gonna take this next one off uh, the same way 
and then I'll take I'll take this one off and uh, let's see let's see if I can get that I'll just let the camera uh, roll okay take that ah see I almost I almost went too far with that screw okay uh, and the last thing you want if you're next to a sink and stuff you probably want to uh, pull the uh, pop-up valve uh, down in case you drop that screw and it doesn't go down in there. If it does, worst case scenario, you got to get underneath the sink under the adjustable P-trap and <laughs> fish the screw back out. Okay, so now I just have to kind of wiggle this there. Okay, there. Okay, got that one off. See how, see how much easier it would be and this one has not been painted over that many times. And I think, for the sake of argument, where is my drill? What did I do with my drill? Oh, here it is. I'm going to take this one down. I think, I think I'm going to. Then I don't have to try to Mickey Mouse around here. And these are bigger screws than the other. And look at that. Look at that. One little dinky screw like that. Are you kidding me? They put that right into the drywall. Look at that. And lucky for me, I believe, um, I brought some, uh, some little plastic anchors with me uh, somewhere. I think I've got them. Uh, before, before I whack that off, I'm going to have to make sure I've got those plastic anchors with me because if I don't, I may just put these screws back in instead of uh, taking this off because see they've got th this has been painted around several times I could tap that off with my putty knife but if I don't have any plastic anchors with me I don't want to do that do I and see these screws they're only this long now the drywall is at least a half inch thick so even if there was wood behind there let's say they put backing along here between two uh, two by fours or the two by fours right here. These screws would never hit it, would they? I could, I could take a longer screw and go through there to see if there's wood in there. Chances are there's no, there's no wood. Yeah, there might be. I think, I think the stud is about here. See, it's about, it's about right here. I don't think it's there. And so I'm going to, I'm going to uh, decide not to take that off. If I can find some little plastic anchors, then I, I may take that off or I may leave it. Okay. But do you see, if I take that off, then I can run the roller straight up all the way. I don't have to go around it and then try to come down and around there and then hit it with the paintbrush later because this is semi-gloss. When you hit, when you hit extra paint around here, um, with a paintbrush rather than the roller, you've got uh, that it leaves different marks. The paintbrush is nice and smooth, right? But with the roller, whatever kind of roller you get, you're gonna have a three-eighths nap, three-quarter nap, five-eighths nap, you know, anything like that. Even a smooth roller is gonna leave some type of slight texture on your wall when you do it with the roller. Do you see what I mean? So I don't, I don't really want that. So, so I'll, I'll check around. If I have the plastic anchors, I'll pop that off. All right, time to get busy once again. And so when you have, when you have your nail bag and stuff, I always, I always, always, always carry that small little screwdriver. And, and I have another screwdriver. This one, this one here. This one's too big and it happened to be longer. I tapped on the end of it one time and it pushed down back in inside of there, but you've got to have a little, a little tiny one. Okay. And like I said, I'll, I'll be able to get it with this, but what I need to do is remind myself that next time I'm at the store, I need to get a new one. Or if you've got some files, you can file this and then, and then, uh, refile the, the, uh, the, the end so that you get 
exactly what you want. But you know, if I didn't have a little screwdriver like this, how would I be able to take these off, right? Allen wrench wouldn't do it. And I just don't like painting around these, okay? Once I pull them off, then when I get ready to paint with the paint roller all the way up, all the way down. You see what I mean? Then you don't have that mark all the way around this with your, with your paintbrush going through here. And, and see, with this, you, you'd have to put your weenie roller up this way, just up to here, and then, for, and then work from here up. And after your paint dries, you're going to see where your stop and go marks are. And then you're going to have to cut this in really nice without, without hitting the sides and stuff. Nothing doing. Just take those off. Spend a few minutes to take them off. It doesn't take long to do that. And then you're good to go with your roller.